Monday, and I essentially want to show you what I've gotten in the mail so far. A lot of this I haven't looked at, so let's take a look. This big old box, this tiny box, these tiny little envelopes to see what's, uh, what's going on. So I'll show you the first one that we got. We have a boxed copy of Ocarina of Time. The box is not in the best shape. It's been crushed, there's creases, tears all over the place. But the cartridge is really clean, extremely clean, probably cleaner than my copy I have in the office. So is the back. And it came with all the inserts and manuals. Um, the tabs are kind of starting to fall apart. Um, this tab is missing. Well, it's not missing. It's actually right here. It's just been tore off. And there's no baggie for the game that the game goes into. But I will not be keeping this for the collection. This one will be going up for sale on the website and in store. Next thing we're going to open is some of these smaller pieces. Huh, okay. So this is pretty funny because I think we got both of them, but these are N64 controller gears. We got a few from two different companies. Um, this first one is n64gears.com. This is a slightly different plastic than the other ones I ordered as well, which we haven't received yet. So what I'm gonna do is actually do a review on these ones from n64gears.com. And I'm gonna do another review when I get the other ones of the other pretty much exact same things, the gears in the, for the N64 controllers. Cause these ones right here from this company is a little bit more expensive. Each one of these was like $3.99 for a pair. The other one was a lot cheaper. So I wanna test them, I wanna see how they feel. And, I, and I'm thinking most likely I'll start repairing the N64 original controllers I have. It's gonna be a lot easier and a lot cheaper to do it that way. Next thing we got, is a brand new sealed Pokemon Arceus. Uh, I've been trying to find a copy at like Walmart and everything. Not for myself, just to really resell because um, I can't find them. This next one is a fairly large purchase I made um, on Facebook Marketplace. And I'm a little bit nervous because of what it is and everything. So let's take a look. We'll take a look together. First thing in this lot is a Nintendo 3DS XL. Power's on. Blue light. There it goes. And it has a couple games on here. Oracle of Seasons. It has Pokemon Yellow. Pokemon Moon. It has, of course, PokeBank, which at this point, if you guys haven't downloaded, you should. All right. Next. There's a DS Lite. Which looks like it's powered on, working. We got Golden Sun, Dark Dawn for the DS. Complete. We got Mega Man Zero Collection. Complete. 
I'm just checking these DS games to make sure they're legit. So far, so good. So we got Dragon Ball Z, The Legacy of Goku. I just checked these, these are all good. Uh, we got Le Dragon Ball Z, Legacy of Goku 2. This is Golden Sun for the Game Boy Advance. At Golden Sun, The Lost Age. So pretty much three Golden Suns, one DS, and two Game Boy Advance. Then we got The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Then we got Classic NES series, The Legend of Zelda. And then we got The Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, Four Swords. Those are pretty good. This whole lot's actually extremely good. I'm just a little nervous making sure that they actually are legit copies because uh, it's really hard to tell on Facebook Marketplace if they don't take pictures of everything, pretty much. We got the chargers for the DS Lite and the 3DS. Not Bravely Default, Complete. Bravely Second in Layer. No manual. And then we have Pokemon Ultra Moon. We have Pokemon Y, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. And then these are the heavy hitters. These are, these are probably the best ones of the whole entire lot. Pokemon White, Complete, Legit, it's the first time I'm seeing them besides when I bought them a lot, and then we got Pokemon Black version 2, Complete, And the last two of the whole entire lot, we got a complete copy of Pokemon Soul Silver. This is manual. And the game, which is legit. And then the last game inside this lot, well, second to last, the last game is actually a reproduction. I'll show you guys at the end, but this is the last Game Boy Advance game in this collection. And that is a copy of Pokemon Emerald. Oh, they're, they're all legit. I was a little afraid. Everything's working. That whole entire lot is fantastic. Some of the best stuff I'll get in in a while. I mean, I this this lot of Pokemon games right here. And then the Bravely Defaults. I mean, Golden Suns. Like, I found this lot. I did some calculations. And for the price I paid, this was a fantastic buy I'm, I'm extremely happy with it and not including i totally forgot it even had the 3ds and the ds Lite. i totally forgot so like this is some of the best stuff we've gotten in in a while we're just i mean we're getting some great stuff so hopefully it continues i'm just looking for this stuff to disappear extremely fast like i'm, I'm expecting it to not last either sell online or not online Ugh. so Unfortunately, there was one reproduction in this whole lot, but the buyer actually told us that it was a reproduction. They knew about it already. So it kind of, I was a little sketchy and like a little worried that the lot that I bought, a lot of it's going to be a reproduction and a fake, but it wasn't. The only one that was a fake, unfortunately, Pokemon Platinum. Yeah, this is a knockoff. But this lot, whoo. And there you might be thinking, Shane, this is a fantastic lot. How much of this are you keeping? Well, none of it. I'm not keeping a single thing. I actually don't have a copy of Pokemon Emerald in my collection right now. I don't know why or I misplaced it, not sure. But I have a complete copy Soul Silver. I don't have black, two, or white, but I have Alpha Sapphire. Uh, I believe I have Y. I don't have Ultra Moon. Of course, the Bravely Default games, Mega Man Zero. Like, I, I don't, at this point, I need really great stuff for the store. And this was a really good lot of Pokemon games that I was extremely happy for. 
so I'm not going to be keeping any of this. Um, you don't come across white and black too very often, especially both of them complete and legit copies. As much as I want to keep them, they're fairly expensive. I would have to do some calculations to see if this lot, if I took these two, if they would be able to sell still at the numbers I have. Some rough calculations in my head. Surprisingly, even if I kept these two, I would be able to at least make some money off of this whole entire collection at the price I bought it for. Um, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I think I want to give you guys Pokemon White and Black too, because um, you just don't see these very often um, pop up or even in stores. I really don't see a whole bunch unless they're priced up. These are just going to be standard prices for the standard copies. So, whoo! I got some work ahead of me, that's for sure. This is probably one of the larger bond. That's not the largest buy I've ever done. It's not the most amount of money I've ever spent. But damn, is it some good inventory. It has officially leveled up, and it's amazing. These are amazing items. I'm just, keep growing this, guys. I want to make the best video game store in the world. And it starts here. And Level Up Video Game Headquarters, a.k.a. Gamer's Garage. Thank you for watching, as always. Don't forget to level up.